Hello everybody and welcome to yet another episode of my Iron Man series. This is episode number 39. Before we get into the video, I just want to thank you for spending some time with me here today. It truly does mean a lot to me. I hope you are doing fantastic. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I hope you enjoy. Surprise, surprise, we are starting this video off at Cap Series. I am just finishing up a four hour session here. I have my hopes pretty high for this week. I, I feel like we can complete the crossbows, crossbows this week, right? Okay, that should be enough anima that I need. Our little eight, eight um, Dark Beast task from Morvren plan backfired a bit so i had to come back to shattered worlds so we did like 30 40 slayer tasks from morbren and we need, did not get a single dark base task so someone from my chat suggested that i should probably just go ahead and get the mask of gloom which uh, you can force a dark beast task once a day with this so basically the I don't need to get chances on the Dark Beast task. I could just force it on eight different days and I can have the achievement done and out of the way. I don't have to waste my time at Morven getting terrible Slayer tasks. So, Mask of Gloom. There we go. Oh my god! He got... I think he wanted exactly that one. But I think we hit 300 KC. Yeah, we did. That's cool. It is time for yet another monthly oyster. What will be inside here? Do I see a die from that crack? Ah, <laughs> from that voice crack, maybe. Oh, damn. <laughs> Just a fortunate component. Hey. Yes. I didn't even realize I got that. Oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. So, getting this little guy took me 800 hunts, and the reason I got it was I've been trying to complete this Jadinko breeding log for like... Well, since I made my Witch Doctor Mask Guide, that's when I started breeding Jadinko, so... I just cannot get the freaking Jadinko for, for, the, for the life of me, so I decided I will get a parent Draconic. And I will chuck this in the pen and replace one of the parents with it. So maybe they can make me a nice, cute little draconic Chidinko baby. Oh, wow. We got our first um, Acto piece doing an off-stream raid. Ah, that's cool. I, I have zero pieces yet. Th those are the mage boots. Wait. So there is the dark bow. What's the, what's the KZ? 2.8k for two dark bows. It's time for an EOF, I think. Oh, oh yes, brother, there's the main hand. So KC for that. 362. Woohoo! Let's go. Oh we we actually got one. I wasn't expecting that. We actually got a Crest of Zamorak. Well, that's a Reaper that's worth it then. There they are. 49kc and we got the Crest. <laughs> we actually got a back-to-back. -back. That's 50kc and we got a blade. <laughs> so maybe when I get my new... Oh, sh yay! Woohoo! We got a Signet! Yay! Ooh. I don't care. Yeah, well, I need to get used to, like, having all my defensives on the mouse. Ooh, ooh, is that a back-to-back? -back? Is that a back-to-back? -back? Come on. I don't care, though. Give me my secondus, please. Okay, let's slap a precise six genocidal on that, on that Drygo Rape here. And now we got dual wield Drygors. Tier 90. Ooh, that feels good, man. I'm not sure if this is a stupid idea, but I think I will use this crest on a anima core dormant body. Uh, Zamorak crest ranged armor. 
Yes. And we have a tier 80 unaugmented body. It doesn't even use any charges or anything. I can just rock this. Okay, that is really good. Now we have a unaugmented body for Capsarius. And we have our Dino Chaps at the, as the leg slot with our Scavenging 4. So this means that we use less charges than compared to if we would use our augmented armor body for it. So this is actually really nice. Are you ready? We are about to get our first ever 200 mil on the account. I think this will be our last siphon for a really long time. I don't really know if we need to siphon anything in the future. There we go. 200 million invention XP. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. Now, that is actually really nice because I don't have to make and disassemble my dino chaps anymore. I was doing that at caps for experience, divination experience. Also, we can now level all our gear up to level 20 because we don't need to siphon it for XP. This is really nice. This is really sweet. First 200 mil. Let's go. Ah, yes. Studying the dinosaur. Hmm. Interesting. It happened. Yes. Oh my god. That's 224 KC for our first Secundus. One more, baby, one more. Most Wanted card, Tormented Demon. That is absolutely ideal. We really, really want that for our draconic dragon limbs. Oh god. That's not a draconic limb, that's a dragon claw. Oh no. Oh no. We just get a ruined armor shard. That's not a dragon limb. Oh baby. Oh baby baby. Am I just getting every drop um in this one try? Yes, yes. Hey, there's the last key piece. And then we assemble it. And there we go, there's the key. Now we are ready to get our ancient ceremonial gear. Oh god. Okay, that's a main hand. We want off hands, I guess. Ooh, mace. Okay, KC check. 408. Okay, let's go. Cool. Okay, <laughs> what a good hour. Two Drygors in one hour, what is this? I guess we'll make some mechanized chinchampas for the first time. These are main hands, right? I put these on the main hand and then I can augment my glaive as an offhand. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Oh, oh, get wrecked, man. You lose. Okay. This man. <laughs> this man. Okay, I'll have Dragon Longsword. No. <laughs> That's another main hand, bro. That's not an offhand. However, that is needed for the log, though. 445 KC Yahoo. Small change of plan because originally we were supposed to head to next after a skinship crossbows, but we are at 100 KC, caps KC currently. It is Saturday evening. It is looking very unlikely that we finish the crossbows this week. So we will be making the EOF now and tomorrow and Sunday we'll try to get our first next kills because it looks like we cannot rely on drop rates anymore and we just, we gotta keep on moving forward and slowly work on the caps on the side. As a Reaper point hoarder, this really hurts, but we gotta buy two Hydrixes for this. Ouch, only 1.4k left. So here's the Hydrix amulet made. String that bad boy. 
level 6 enchant on it. There is the amulet of souls. Now we make the other hydrix into an alchemical hydrix using rumbling components, fortunates, and you know, some refined and precious ones. Boom, there we go. That is a 150 mil gem right there. And here we go. Use those. You are about to fuse the following alchemical hydrix, amulet of souls, and a reaper necklace into a essence of finality amulet. Okay. There it is, the first EOF on the account, long, long overdue. Ooh, that, that is looking pretty good. What is the EOF? Well, it is the second best in slot amulet in the game, only falling behind the EOF that has the ornament kits on it, but those are a bit tough to get on an Iron Man. It has the effect of your amulet of souls, which means your soul split has a chance to heal more, and also your protection pray prayers are 10% more um, effective. And also it carries over the reaper necklace, which increases your accuracy. Now we get to the best part of the amulet. You can sacrifice a weapon with a special attack into the amulet. Let's say I have the dark bow which has the spec, I use it on it. I can sacrifice it, there's the special attack, but you lose the weapon forever. But there goes the, goes the dark bow into the amulet. Now anytime you are wearing this amulet, you can use this special attack whenever you wish with this handy um, a constitution ability let's put that on the bar there the best part about this is that the damage of the special attack that you are using is calculated based on your weapon that you are using this made many many special attacks like viable again which i find it super super cool so let's test it out we have the dark bow dark bow eof um constitution ability here let's fire it off Oh yeah, that's cool. I think I will have a lot of fun with this amulet at like next and next and oh look at that! Oh good god! <laughs> with, uh, with, yeah, we will have a ton of fun fun with this at like Legios and next and yeah. No way! <laughs> oh no! There's the first dupe, bro. That's another Draugr Longsword. That's 50k to see. 486. Uh oh. Yes, I got my first piece. Woohoo. 164kc for first ancient ceremonial piece. Okay, I guess we are doing our first next kills duo. I hope this is not considered leeching, but our gears are very, very similar, and I just need these ceremonial pieces. First, next K, next. First, next KC on the Iron Man. Wait, this man just got Pernix gloves. Ooh, I got it. I I get a book for that, and that is a Master Quest Cape requirement. Done. Yes, there we go. One more piece to the collection. Give me my gloves, that is 3 out of 5, let's go! And just like that, another week has passed without a Ascension crossbow in our hands. <laughs> it is pretty disappointing, but next week, again, we go full turbo mode on some cap series, and maybe we can... You know what? I will never say it. Maybe we won't finish it next week. <laughs> How about that? I am super happy with um, starting next. I am really, really excited to be getting some drops there. I just need to finish the cer ceremonial set and we are ready to solo that. If you did make it this far into the video, you are an absolute legend. Wow. If you liked this video, then like the video. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. And please... I need you to, to do one thing, comment down below RNG booster for next week. Okay, it would really help me out a lot with this Ascension bow grind. As always, the stats are on the screen now. I sincerely hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. With all that being said, I will see you in the next one. Yucky out. Peace.